Hello again, sports fans. Jeff Cook reporting from Eddie Plank Field at the Rec Park in Gettysburg. The Lady Warriors taking the field. They will host the Lady Mustangs of Southwestern in softball. A gorgeous day to play America's pastime. We'll give you the starting lineups for Southwestern. Leah Chandler leads off in right. Um, that's the Gettysburg lineup. For Southwestern, Sharon Albin is the shortstop. Amy Gobrak plays second base and hits second. Jen Williams bats third and will pitch. Jamie McClintock is the cleanup hitter at first base. Jeanette Tracy batting in the five hall, playing third. Kelly Clouser in center, batting seventh. Tova Bop is the catcher. She hits eighth. And Jen Putman will pitch and play right field. We'll set the defense for Gettysburg. Christy Ford on the mound. Denise Green is the catcher, left to right in the infield. It's April Nail at third. Angie Kane at short. Tracy Wants at second. And Carla Zapata at first base, left to right in the outfield. Ashley Riley in left. Jenny Dick in center. And Leah Chandler in right field. The umpires for today's game. Are Jack Stewart behind the plate and John Trail on the base paths. Southwestern coached by Tom Long, his assistant Diane Kinney. The Lady Mustangs looking for a win on the season. They are 0 and 5. Christy Ford readies for the first pitch of the contest. High and wide, one and nothing to leadoff hitter Leah Chandler as we are underway. A warm day, but the wind is blowing briskly toward the outfield, and it's really sailing on Christy Ford as she tries to control her delivery. <laughs> Two and nothing to Chandler, who probably will be taking all the way. She did, and that was a little closer to the strike zone, but it's three and nothing. Leah Chandler looks at ball four, and she is aboard. Skip Dudash, the coach for Gettysburg, visits the mound to try to settle Christy Ford down, probably telling her to forget about the wind. Just stay under control. Don't be concerned. Leah Chandler at first base with a four-pitch walk. Ball should carry well to the outfield if players can make contact. This is Jeff Cook reporting for Adams Community Television. Your local sports station every Monday night is sports. Local sports here on ACT. Amy Gobrek is the second hitter of the inning for the Lady Mustangs. That pitch is wide. 1 and 0 to Gobrecht. Oh. 2 and 0 and the ball sails by Green and Chandler moves up to second base. Oh. 
So Christy Ford yet to throw a strike. Chandler at second with nobody out. Two and nothing. To Gobrecht and Ford found the zone that time. Two and one. Gobrecht taking all the way. Three and one to Gobrecht. Ford has to come in here. And Gobrecht draws a walk. Might not be a problem to uh, film two hours of programming here this afternoon. The wind could wreak havoc with control. Might not see a lot of swinging of the bats. Strike called to three hitter Jen Williams. <laughs> Familiar face just dropped by the skybox. Coach Dooley of the Running Warriors. Just wide. I'm sure he'll be visiting with us shortly here in the skybox. Christy Ford looking to throw some strikes here early on. That was wide. Umpire indicating by how much. Three and one to Jen Miller. Jen Williams, rather. And the bases are loaded with walks. Still nobody out. The fans, the excitement is building here. And Christy Ford right now will trade just about anything just to get in out. This is Jamie McClintock. Takes a called strike. Good fastball by Ford. The sacks are loaded. Nobody out. McClintock cue to shot past the first base bag. Nothing in two to Jamie McClintock. The sacks are full. That was a pitch wide in the strike zone. One and two. To the cleanup hitter, and she cues one to center. No play at the plate. And a run is home on the sacrifice fly. The other runners. Stayed put, one nothing, Lady Mustangs. Decent running catch by Jenny Dick as she battled the winds and made a strong throw, but not in time to get Albin. One nothing, Lady Stangs. Double steal by the Lady Mustangs. Gobrek to third, Williams to second. And the batter is Jeanette Tracy. Ball was foul. And she'll return. One down, a run in. Jeanette Tracy, the batter.
Just missed. Ford's pitches have been sailing out of the strike zone, and Mustangs have scored a run without benefit of a hit. Fouled back beyond the screen. And the count is full. And Tracy walks, still one out in the inning. Bases reloaded. <laughs> Kelly Clouser, the batter. One and nothing. Still in the top of the first. Two and zero, oh, and Ford already has thrown quite a few pitches. We don't keep the pitch count here at ACT, but try to keep the viewers informed nonetheless. Two and one as Ford bored in on the outside corner. Has to come in here to Clouser. Clouser took a rip at it, no contact, and the count evens at two and two. Oh, beautiful Ephus pitch. The slow curve, it froze Clouser. Big pitch for Christy Ford. She really took something off that and a left-handed K as Clouser fan. She could see her way out of this with minimum damage if she can get Tova Bop. Spray shot, foul. Somebody should get it. April Nail, the third baseman, made the grab. Well, thank you, Coach Dooley. I we had camera duties at hand. We'll credit Angie Kane, Angie Kane with the put out. So for Southwestern in the first, one run on no hits, no errors, and they left the bases loaded after a half inning. Southwestern Lady Mustangs won. Gettysburg Lady Warriors coming to bat. Let's pause. We'll set that Southwestern defense for you. Jen Williams is the pitcher. Left to right in the infield, it's Jeanette Tracy, Sharon Albin, Amy Gobrecht, and Jamie McClintock. Left to right in the outfield. Well, right to left in the outfield is Jen Putman, number seven, and Kelly Clouser. We need a program update. We'll try to provide it to you shortly. Only eight players in my lineup. That could be very confusing. Bottom of the first, Leah, Ch Ch Leah Chandler will lead off for the Lady Warriors. 
And I just now realized that uh, I was referring to Sharon Albin in the top of the first as Leah Chandler, so my apologies to the principals involved. This is Leah Chandler, Jen Williams, on the mound for the Lady Mustangs. Well, that ball found the screen, one and nothing to Chandler. Chandler demonstrating where she would like the ball pitched. Williams avoiding that area, and it's 2-0. and oh. Three and nothing to Leah Chandler, and you can bet she'll be taking here. No question, a four-pitch walk of her own by Williams to start the first. And the beauty of that is that my scoring snafu is irrelevant because both teams let off with walks. This is Christy Ford. She'll be looking to try to move Chandler up to second in some fashion. One and nothing. And Chandler moves up on the wild pitch, just as Sharon Albin did in the top of the first. Deja vu all over again. As Yogi would say. That was a strike. Williams took a little off that pitch and got it over one and one to Christy Ford. That pitch was wide. Skip Dudash, the head coach of the Warriors. He is assisted by his father, Paul Dudash. Another wild pitch. Chandler scampers over to third. So Ford walks, Chandler at third, first and third, nobody out for Erin Klotz. She is the designated hitter, does not play a position in the field. That is Ashley Riley who plays left. This is permitted in softball. Strike called to Klotz as Ford moves up to second on defensive indifference tough scoring here in the booth that pitch was over Klotz's head <laughs> one and one to Klotz Williams fires Outside, two and one, second and third, nobody out. Lady Warriors looking to get right back in this thing. They trail one nothing only in the bottom of the first. Off speed pitch, sailed inside. Three and one to Klotz. Gettysburg is two and three on the season, one and two in the mid pen. Klotz draws a free pass. This, of course, not a conference game as Southwestern is in the York County League. So the sacks are full for Denise Green. Denise Green looking for a ball she can drive. Took ball one in the dirt. Hey, 
Two and oh. No chance for Chandler to advance. Not much room back there between home plate and the backstop. Two and nothing to Denise Green. Nowhere to put her. Williams goes off speed and gets it over. Two and one. Three and one. So Green may be taking a pitch here. A cornucopia of sports action around us. Boys baseball team is practicing earlier, and there's a JV contest, Gettysburg versus Biglerville on the adjacent field. Three and two to Denise Green. Bases loaded, still nobody out. Ground ball, foul past third, and the count stays at three and two. Ball four, so give Green a run batted in on the bases loaded walk. We are tied at one. Jenny Dick, the batter. So Chandler scores. Ford moves up to third. Klotz the second, and Green is aboard. Excellent play by Christy Ford. Caught the Lady Mustangs napping and slid under the tag. She scores to make it two to one. Lady Warriors. One and nothing to Jenny Dick. The other runners did not advance, however. So they remain at second and first. Outside. Two and oh to Jenny Dick with Carla Zapata on deck. The fifth straight free pass given up by Jen Williams. So Klotz moves to third, Denise Green to second, and Jenny Dick is on at first. Carla is a part of the batter. Another wild pitch. Aaron Klotz stays at third. These games can get out of hand. Uh, I read about a 41 to nothing game involving Littlestown. Earlier in the season, Littlestown scored 22 runs in one inning. Pounded York Votech, I think was the opponent, 41 to nothing. But there is a 10-run rule in effect. However, games must go at least five innings. <coughs> 
Two and zero. Oh. Zapata swings, loops one into left field, nearly hit the line. So an RBI single for Carla Zapata, first hit for either team. And the Lady Warriors lead three to nothing as Klotz crosses the plate. Players move up a base. April Nail the hitter. One and nothing to Nail, still nobody out. Two and zero. Oh. And Green is wiped out at the plate. And that might be the best strategy of the Lady Mustangs. Throw the pitch wild intentionally and try to get the runner coming in from third. Now they have it out. They found a way to get someone retired as Green is rubbed out at home plate. Other runners move up a base. April Nail still in there. Jenny Dick at third. Carla Zapata at second. So Nail walks. The sixth walk of the inning. There's a little conference at the mound. What do you think uh, the coach is telling that pitcher, Coach Dooley? I think the first thing he's saying is, would you please get this ball over the plate? <laughs> yeah, even though it's daylight savings time, uh, they may ra run out of light it, it at amazing. this rate. <laughs> it is amazing how both innings have gone almost the same way. And I, I got a kick out of what you said. The, the way to get an out is to throw the ball past the catcher and hope the guy tries to come home from third. An interesting stratagem. One and nothing to Tracy wants. And whatever Tracy wants, does Tracy get? We'll see. Two and nothing to wants. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Not a pitch to her liking. That was a strike by Williams. Bases are reloaded, one out, three runs home, bottom of the first. We are Adams Community Television. Ground ball, foul, just foul. So Watts was swinging all the way, made good contact, but Just wide of the bag at third. <laughs> Jenny Dick was not fooled that time as the ball went wide of the catcher. She stayed planted at third. They want to give Watts a chance to swing the bat. But she'll take the RBI on the bases loaded walk. Jenny Dick scores, and it's four to one, Lady Warriors. Another visit to the mound. Uh, does this mean he has to make a change, Coach? No, I, no I, well, they're making a change. I don't know if there's a rule about that or not. It, it seems to me that you, instead of having a lot of walks, you just get it over. Let's see if people can field. Well. Easier said than done, apparently. I'm sure that's what he 
told her in the first visit, and uh, well, I think she was bothered by the wind. It is very windy out here today. In the major leagues the other night, I saw the strangest thing I have ever seen in my life. Guys pitching a perfect game in the eighth inning. He hits the batter, and the batter charges yeah, the man. Yeah, I saw that too. I thought, like, what, what, are you crazy? He was pitching a perfect game. That's the last thing he wanted to do, right? I think the, the new commissioner should be appointed immediately, and the player named Sanders from Cincinnati should be suspended for a month for stupidity. Well, you heard it here on ACT. It's the wildest thing I've ever seen. Jan Colson, the new pitcher. I, they were my thoughts exactly. And of course, both benches emptied. <laughs> the obligatory marched out. Yeah, but that's how people get hurt on the bottom of those mm -hmm. piles. It's really ridiculous. And you're, you're right. Uh, it's going to have to be addressed as, as the campaigns heat up this yeah, this been, summer. It's been a thing that's really occurred in the last five, six years, where everybody feels they have to go out there. And you know, if I were a pitcher, I think I'd bring an extra baseball in my back pocket. If you charge me, I hit him a second time. Either that or a potato. Angie Kane, the batter, and Colson comes out throwing strikes. At least one strike, I should use the singular. One and nothing, or 0 and 1 rather to Kane. There's another good pitch. Ground ball to third, thrown wide. Two runs are going to try to score. Nail came in to score. Zapata as well. It's 6 nothing. Credit Kane with a fielder's choice. Tough scoring here in the press box. Leah Chandler led off with a walk and scored the first run of the nightmare. I mean inning. Swinging bunt. Nicely done, but it trickled foul. Still only one out here in the bottom of the first. Chandler batting for the second time in the frame. But Colson, to her credit, has found the plate. And obviously uh, heard Coach Dooley's advice. Just throw it in there and see if, uh, number one, A, if uh, Gettysburg can hit it, and then B, if her fielders can glove it. Q shot. So an infield base hit for Chandler. Give her an RBI. Tracy Watts scores. Angie Kane all the way to third. Still only one out in the inning. 7-1, Gettysburg. Colson faces Christy Ford. The Warriors try the double steal and they execute it to perfection. Angie Kane crosses the plate, a steal of home as Chandler steals second. 8 nothing Warriors, or 8-1 rather, Warriors. <laughs> Strike called. Change up by Colson and Ford swung through it one and two. So Colson has that pitch that sort of drops off the table. And Ford is a strikeout victim. Second out of the inning. Aaron Klotz the batter. She walked and scored in the first, as did Christy Ford. Bad camera work, but good play in the field for the Lady Mustangs.
Gettysburg finally retired in the bottom of the first. They score eight runs on only one on two hits, uh, one error and one left after one full eight one. Gettysburg. See you, Coach Dooley. We'll pause. Okay, this is Tova Bup leading off. Top of the second. Strike called by Ford. Bob thought about taking a rip at it, but it was well out of the strike zone. So Bop draws a free pass. She's a leadoff base runner. And Jen Putman will bat. One and nothing to Putman. Two and oh. We are Adams Community Television, channel 25 on your Salmon's dial coming soon, or so we are told, to your PA Classic dial every Monday night, local sports from 7 to 9 p.m. here on ACT. Live shows coming up this coming Wednesday. It's Act Vision. Look for Sports Corner around 7.45, but the show starts at 7. Very informative program coming to you live from our studios on Stratton Street. Putnam walks. So Ford again with control problems at the start of an inning. Sharon Albin to batter. She walked and scored. Southwestern's only run. First pitch sailed wide. And then a week from Wednesday, it's Act Naturally. I'll be your host. Dane Wagle's look at some of the sights and sounds of Adams County. Ball was fair down the third baseline. Warriors get it back into the infield, but the bases are loaded. Sharon Albin with a single. Bop to third, Putnam, Putman to second. And the batter's Amy Gobrek. She walked in the first. Bases loaded, nobody out. Strike called, good pitch by Ford. Right on the letters to Gobrek. Gobrecht swung through a high pitch. Nothing in two. Gobrecht stranded at third in the last inning. Wild pitch, but no advance. Runners stay put. One and one the count. Green went after it, but no chance.
One and two, four to head in the count. Gobrek skies one back and out of play. Count holds at one and two. Two and two. We're going to fill out the two hour program slot tonight with some amateur rugby action. Gobrecht fans on high heat. First out of the inning. So Ford gets in trouble and then seems to enjoy pitching her way out of it. Jen Williams will bat. She walked in the first. Nothing in one to Williams. Players and fans alike being buffeted about. Just wide, one and one, good pitch by Ford. Jack Stewart behind the plate has been very consistent this afternoon. A sun spanked day at the rec park. Off speed stuff. Two and two, two and one rather, two and one the count. Green makes the catch. And Williams is retired. Base is loaded, but now with two outs, and Ford can see her way clear of the jam. If she can retire, Jamie McClintock. McClintock flied out to center, but drove in the only run of the game for Southwestern in the, her first at bat. Top of the second, 8-1 Gettysburg. And this was a first. We've never done softball at the high school level until this afternoon. Yours truly operating camera as well as commentary. Providing the commentary, I should say. It's a labor of love here at ACT. We're an all-volunteer organization. And if you want to get involved, give us a call at 334-3000. We depend on the support of our public. And if you can be generous with your time or with your financial resources, Ford with an ice cream cone, but gets it over to Zapata in plenty of time. So she loaded the bases with nobody out and worked her way out of a jam. We head to the home second. Gettysburg still in front, eight to one. Let's pause. Well, I, let's not pause, I started it talk about our need for contributions and if you'd like to get involved with underwriting the sports programming here on ACT give us a call at 334-3000 we'd like to talk about it Denise Green will lead off for Gettysburg in the second she walked her first time up. Jan Colson on in relief of Jen Williams for Southwestern. And it may be that Williams stays in the lineup offensively. That split personality rule here in softball. Play.
player is allowed to share positions. One may play the field and the other may bat. Base hit by Green. So Denise Green is on at first with a sharp single to left. And Jenny Dick will bat. One and nothing to Dick. She walked and scored in the first. We're in the home second. Nobody out. Gettysburg leading eight to one. Southwestern still looking for their first win of the year. Good pitch by Colson. Two and one to Dick. Two and two. Dick looks hitterish, as the great white one would say. She's poised to swing up there. And at two and two, she better be up there hacking. She rips one down the third baseline and past the fielder. Green moves up to third. And Dick rolls into second. Single E7 is the unofficial score. Carla Zapata, the hitter. She singled and scored in the first. Zapata takes a called strike one, second and third, nobody out. The wind is a factor out here, no question about it. We're always looking for assistance in our production team, though, so if you think you can help us out, give us a call, 334-3000. That was close. Umpire Stewart making the pitchers deliver. And Zapata walks to load the bases. April Nail the hitter. She walked and scored in the first. Gettysburg with an eight spot in the first. Good pitch by Colson. The bottom dropped out and Nail swung and missed. Nothing in one. Enjoyed Coach Dooley's visit in the booth and would have enjoyed giving him a little more opportunity for commentary but I can't leave my assignment on camera ball sky to the outfield unable to be caught green scores and it's nine to one so credit nail with an RBI single Denise Green is in with a ninth run. Dick moves up to third. Zapata to second, and the batter is Tracy Watts. She walked and scored in the first. Base is still loaded, still nobody out.
Three and nothing to once. And she draws a walk. Jack Stewart, obviously, with no particular place to go. If he was in a hurry, he certainly could have called that pitch a strike. It was high in the strike zone, though. So Wants with an RBI base on balls. Dick scores the second run of the inning, and it's 10-1. to Strike called to Angie Kane. She was safe on a fielder's choice in the first and came around to score. Off the glove of Colson, it's safe all around. Zapata scores 11 to 1. Kane with an infield base hit. Nail moves up to third, wants the second. And the batter is Leah Chandler. Still nobody out. Nothing in one to Chandler. One and one. As I mentioned, amateur rugby to follow. You won't be able to see that game in its entirety. Chambersburg went on to defeat Old Gaelic by the score of 24 to 11. First time ever the Turtleheads defeat their local rivals. Flare shot in the right. It drops in and everybody moves up a base. Nail scores, wants the third, Kane the second. Infield single for Chandler, and she's perfect, a walk in two singles. Give her an RBI as well. And Christy Ford will bat. Ground ball, base hit. So Ford, who had walked and spanned earlier with an RBI single of her own, Watts scores, Kane to third, Chandler to second, 13 to one. Strike call to Aaron Klotz. They have a 10 run rule. They may need another category, capitulation. Klotz fouls it to the screen. Still nobody out. Bases loaded, five runs in. Klotz fouled one off the catcher's mask. Tova Bop. Got bopped. Klotz hanging tough, fouled another one back. Bop with yet another foul. Two and two to Aaron Bopp. Bases loaded with Lady Warriors.
Then it's one and two. Ground ball back to Colson. And she threw it wild over Bop's head. So Kane comes in to score. Chandler to third, Ford to second. Klotz is on, on the fielder's choice. And Denise Green will bat for the second time in the inning. Lady Warriors have batted around, still nobody out. And Jan Colson had a chance for at least one out there. Threw the ball over the head of Toba Bop. Ball is ripped into the hole. Base hit for Denise Green. She's perfect on the afternoon. Two singles and a walk. Chandler scores. Ford to third. Klotz to second. 14 to 1. Reminds me of one of those cartoons where the players just keep moving up base after base after interminable base. <laughs> Jen Dick has scored a couple of runs so far, a walk and a single. Fouled that back and out of play. Two hundred and eight feet in all directions here at Eddie Plank Field. The diamond is named for the legendary local, a member of the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. 305 pitching victories in his illustrious career. Pitched for the athletics for many years. Betty Plank Jim, named for the same all-time great on the campus of Gettysburg College. So Dick fans, first out of the inning, Carlos Zapata at the plate. Ooh, tough chance over there. Jeanette Tracy went all the way to the fence and nearly made the grab and she's shaking up. Just hold your breath on a play like that. It appears that she'll be okay, but a valiant effort by Jeanette Tracy. And we're gonna take a timeout. So Zapata with another hit and another RBI. She's two for two with a walk. The ball plunked in front of Kelly Clouser, the left fielder. April nailed the hitter. She's walked and singled. Quite an offensive display by the Lady Warriors. Pretty double play turned by Jeanette Tracy. What an inning for her. She goes to the wall. Nearly grabs a foul ball and then stepped on the base, field of that shot off the bat of nail. Then the Lady Mustangs turn a 5 3 double play. Nail retired at first. Klotz wiped out. But a good inning. For the Lady Warriors, another eight runs.
on six hits. One player left on base after two full. Gettysburg 16, Southwestern 1. Of replacements into the lineup for the Lady Warriors. Courtney Springstead takes over at third base. Heidi Hull in left. And the batter will be Jamie McClintock leading off the third for Southwestern. She flied to right her first time up. This is Jeanette Tracy, so she made the defensive gem and now leads off the inning. A shot to short. Kane didn't get it there in time. And Tracy with a leadoff single to start the third. Kelly Clouser will hit. She struck out her first time up. High and tight, one and nothing to Clouser. Tracy at first with a walk. Clouser swung through a pitch that was well out of the strike zone. Helped Ford out, and the count evens at one and one. Two and one. Three and one to Clouser. Top of the third. Christy Ford needs nine more outs to make this game official. If Gettysburg can maintain that deficit or that differential of at least 10 runs, they lead at the moment 16 to 1. Clouser draws a free pass. First and second, nobody out. And this has been the pattern. Christy Ford. Gets runners on early in an inning and then digs down deep to bail herself out of a jam. Strike called. <laughs> this is the center fielder. Nothing in two. She popped out to short her first time up. Base hit, it's gonna roll all the way to the fence. Clouser is gonna score. Two run double for the Southwestern center fielder. Two runs batted in, Tracy and Clouser scamper home and it's a 16 to three game, still nobody out. Tova Bop the batter. She walked her first time up. Christy Ford just looking for some outs at this point. Strike called on the outside corner. Practically unhittable pitch by Ford. Ball skipped in the dirt. The runner advances to third.
Ground ball, Springstead Fields makes the throw to first in plenty of time. So Bop is retired 5-3 for those of you scoring at home. A run does score. And it's 16 to 4. Sharon Albin swung through a fastball. She's perfect on the day. A walk and a single. Has also scored a run. Good breaking pitch by Ford. Nothing in two to Sharon Albin. Three runs across here in the frame for the Lady Mustangs. One and two to Albin. Strike three called. Gobrecht is retired, third strikeout or rather Alvin retired, third strikeout for four. That's two down in the inning. And Amy Gobrek the hitter. She's walked and struck out. One and oh. One hopper to the mound, Ford over to first in plenty of time, and the Lady Mustangs are retired in the third. Three runs on two hits, no errors, and none left on. We head to the home third. It's Gettysburg 16, Southwestern 4. Tammy Wolf. The pinch hitter for Tracy Wants. A couple of defensive changes for Southwestern. Jeanette Tracy moves to center. Kristen Zimmerman, the new third baseman. Check your local listings in each Monday's Gettysburg times for the weekly schedule of programming on Adams Community Television. Monday night's a given. Sports. And I appreciate all the favorable comments I've received from various members of the community. It's nice to meet people and have them say that they enjoy the programming. We'll keep trying to bring you local programming of interest throughout the Adams County area. Ground foul. Tammy Wolf leading off the third for Gettysburg. Base hit, and it goes right under the left fielder's legs. Wolf will scoot into second. A single and an error, and Wolf is aboard. Angie Kane, the batter, safe on a fielder's choice. A single and a couple of runs scored. Ground ball to Zimmerman. Tag play at first. So a good job by Jamie McClintock to make the tag. Zimmerman 
made a throw that pulled McClintock off the bag, and she did a nice job to apply the tag. Kane is retired, one down. Bunt. Safe all around, beautiful bunt by Leah Chandler. So Wolf comes in to score the 17th run. <coughs> and Christy Ford will bat. First and third, one out in the inning. Chandler moves up to second on defensive. Well, we'll call it a wild pitch. One and zero to Christy Ford. She's walked, struck out, and singled. Two runs scored on the afternoon. Strike called. Ground ball, Zimmerman fields it in foul territory. Ground ball. Through on the, up the middle. Chandler scores. Oh, no, no run scored on that. Chandler up to third, rather. This is Aaron Klotz. Strike called. Ford moves up to second. Klotz with a walk. A ground out and a fielder's choice. 0 for 2. With a run scored. One out here in the home third and a run in. Ground ball right back to Colson. Double clutches but throws. Chandler does score the second inning or the second run of the inning. Christy Ford moves up to third. Erin Klotz retired. One, three, two outs in the inning. And Denise Green will bat. She has scored a couple of runs and has two singles and a walk. Q shot the second. And the play was made by Amy Gobrecht. Green retired for the first time all day for Gettysburg. Two runs, three hits, a couple of costly errors, and one left on base. We head to the fourth, 18 to four, Gettysburg. Three, four, and five hitters up there for Southwestern here in the top of the fourth. Christy Gracie, the batter. Pinch hitting, two and nothing to her. <laughs> Popped out of play, two and one.
Ball ripped to the screen. Two and two. Base hit. And that was Amy Gobrecht leading off. It was not Christy Gracie, that was Amy Gobrecht. My scorecard is a mess. Jen Williams, the hitter. That pitch was wild. Gobrecht moves up to second. Two and one. Special thanks, as always, to Gettysburg High School Athletic Director Monty Illick. Two and two to Williams. Gobrecht on at second. Nobody out here in the top of the fourth. A little bit inside, and the count is full. Ball's ripped to the outfield. Heidi Hull can't come up with it. Gobrecht has to hang on at second. Base hit for Williams. First and second, nobody out. Jamie McClintock, the batter. Right under the glove of Zapata. And two runs are going to, well, one run's going to score. Gobrecht crosses the plate. So McClintock with a base hit. She's got a couple of RBIs today as Gobrecht crosses the plate, and it's 18 to 5. Special thanks also to Tom Ford for his help prior to the contest. One and nothing to Jeanette Tracy. And McClintock scampers down to second. Second and third, still with nobody out. Southwestern has at least threatened in every inning. They scored in the first and added three more in the third. Left the bases loaded in the second. Gettysburg's been able to put the big innings together and Ford has pitched out of trouble when the chips were down. Backing out of play. They had to retrieve a ball from a morass of mud down beyond the backstop. Okay. 
Soggy outfield, but the infield appears to be in pretty good condition. Zapata grabs the fly ball in the infield. Williams has to hang on at third and McClintock at second. One down in the inning and Kelly Clouser will bat. Strike called. Ford took a little off that delivery and got it over. That pitch was wide. Ground ball on the right side. Zapata tags the runner. So two unassisted plays thus far by Zapata. Two down in the inning. Williams crosses the plate, McClintock the third, but the Warriors will gladly trade runs for outs at this point in the contest. 18 to six, Gettysburg. Kristen Zimmerman the batter, her first plate appearance of the afternoon. Strike called. Two down, McClintock at third. Off speed pitch was low and in the dirt. One and one. Two and one. Foul. Two and two, the count. And we'll soon have to stop for a battery change should we lose power. You are forewarned. Hopefully we won't miss any action. We can make this next half inning. Christy Ford has been cooperative with pretty good control of this frame. In fact, she really has settled down. Has only walked three since the first inning. She had four walks in that frame alone, and now she issues a free pass to Zimmerman. Christy Gracie will be the pinch hitter. Oh, no, this is... I'm confused. This is Tova Bop. Two outs, two runs in here in the top of the fourth. The Warriors out in front of the Lady Mustangs, 18 to six. Three and nothing to Bop. Strike called, Bop on the day. One for two with a double. Draws her second free pass of the contest. Jen Putnam, Putman rather, will be the hitter. Right 
Putman has walked and grounded out. Good scoop in the dirt by Green. Two and nothing. Bop hanging on at first base. Well, the bases are loaded. So obviously that was the prudent decision on her part. Zimmerman, the runner at second. McClintock at third. Strike called, two and one. Strike two. One and two, the count. Swing and a miss by Putman. Two runs on two hits for the Lady Mustangs. Here in the fourth, they lead, leave the bases loaded. And we head to the home fourth. It's Gettysburg, 18, Southwestern, 6. We are running out of power. Jenny Dick, the hitter, here in the home fourth. <laughs> We're going to shut down and try to recap for you. All reserve batteries are without any power whatsoever, so we are going to shut down here, and we'll get back with a recap. Base hit for Jenny Dick, and we'll be back. We are in the top of the fifth. Gettysburg scored a run in the fourth. Jenny Dick led off with a single, eventually came around to score. And the throw pulled Zapata off the bag, wants to feel the ball, but did not get there in time, get the throw there in time. So it is 19 to six. We'll be back to wrap up. In a moment. We are in the top of the fifth. Two runs are in for Southwestern, but there are two out. Second and third. Sharon Albin was safe on an error. Then Amy Gobrecht with a gap double. Jen Williams, a two run single. She is now on at third base. Jamie McClintock on at second. There are two outs in the inning, and Kristen Zimmerman is the batter. If Ford can get her out, this will be the game. There it is. Zapata fields to retire the side and end the ball game. Gettysburg defeats Southwestern 19 to eight. The 10 run rule in effect. They move to three and three on the season. Southwestern drops to 0 and six. That wraps things up here at the rec park. I'm Jeff Cook reporting. Until next time, sports fans, good night.